Hello all, welcome to Binary Programming. In this video, we'll solve the seventh challenge of Visual Force Basics module of Jalapa Beginner. The name of the challenge is Use Standard List Controllers. So let's move to the challenge. So in this challenge, we need to create a Visual Force page which shows a list of accounts linked to the record pages. So the page should be named as the account list. We need to use the account as a standard controllers. We need to have a record set variable and a couple of components also like apex repeat, li tag of HTML and apex output link component. So let's move to the org and create this user force page. So in the org, we are going to the developer console and in the developer console, we are going to the files and creating the visual force page. So the name of the visual force page is given to us. It is account list. So let's copy it from here and paste it here. This will create a new visual force page for us. Now we need to use some attributes like the standard controller as mentioned in the challenge. So this should be equals to the account. Apart from this, we need to have the record set variable that should be equals to the accounts as mentioned in the challenge. Now, after this, the challenge says that we need to have an apex repeat component with the variable is a and it should have the li HTML tag and the apex output link component. So let's create the apex repeat component first. Here is the apex repeat component and the variable of this should be a as mentioned in the challenge and the value of this should be the record set variable value which we have set that is the accounts so this is done now inside this we need to create an ally tag of html and inside this we need to use the apex output link so here it is the apex output link and inside the apex output link we need to create a link to the record so the value of this should be the id of the record so here it is a dot id and in the hint section if you see in the challenge it is mentioned that the record details pages can be reached by placing a record id at the root of the url so we need to make this thing as the url so this should be the url type and this is the expression for this on clicking on this link something should get displayed so let's say the name of this account should get displayed so we are going to use the output text component here and inside this output text component we need to show the value as in the form of expression let's say a dot name so this is it this is done let's reiterate what we have done in this visual force page we have refer this page to the standard controller called account we have set a record set variable that is the accounts and apex repeat component we have used with the variables as a and inside that we are using the li tag of html and an output link to access this record and this output link we are showing the name of the account and in the form of the output text so this is done let's move to the challenge and see whether we have done it correct or not so yes we have completed the challenge and got 500 points for this. See you guys in the next video with a new challenge. Thank you.